today I'm going to be leveling this area for my shed pad. The tools that I'm going to be using are some wood stakes, some nylon line, a level line, a razor knife to cut the nylon line, some gloves, a hammer. I also got a tape measure and a pencil here. So two more tools that I'm going to need to mark the stake here. And then I got a canteen out here. I'm using a Yeti so that I can stay hydrated. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hammer these stakes into the ground and then I'll tie the strings around it and I'll run this uh, level line on there to kind of get level so I can see where I need to be. I want to do uh, four inches of uh, gravel and I'm also running an irrigation line here. I'm running an irrigation line and so I want that irrigation line to be an inch uh, below where I'm going to start the shed pad. So I'm going to want to go six inches down for that, one inch for the irrigation line, four inches for the gravel, three quarters of an inch for sand, and then I want to have the pavers, I want to have these pavers here uh, sitting above the paper walkway so that water doesn't run off these pavers into the shed. So this is the high area here, so this is where I'm going to start. All right, I just want it deep enough there that uh, it won't come out when I pull on it with the string. So yeah, and we just got to be above this here because we know we want to be at the very least, we want to be right here. This will be our top here. All right, so we know that low point is where we want to be, that's our top. The paver itself is uh, one and a half inches. So we're going to come down one and a half inches here. One and a half inches. All right. And then from there, we're going to do three quarters inch sand. We'll mark down another three quarters of an inch. All right. And then after that, we want to go four inches of gravel right here. So we're right there where we need to be. We're just going to have to dig our trench deeper. Our trench needs to go deeper about another inch deeper and then we'll be good to go. So this is how much dirt we need to remove here. From this whole area we need to remove uh, three inches of dirt. There's some progress. We got some marks there so that's pretty cool. All right now the test will be how level this is. I'm just kind of guessing here. I know that uh, this does slope down so I'll probably have to hammer this down a little further but we'll see where level is first all right i got my line there and we'll see how level it is we'll get out the level line and we're just getting a ballpark figure here we know this isn't going to be super accurate but uh, we just want to be close once we get the gravel down and start leveling everything up we'll use a big level and a straight two by four to kind of get everything smooth and level but this will get us close we got to know where to start and this will help us get there right here so it looks like it needs to go down a little bit on that side all right we'll see if that did the trick that looks pretty good we're right down there and level this is barely floating above the pavers there so yeah I think that's good Alright, so now I can get a good idea where the top of the sand needs to be. This will be the level area where the pavers are going to go. And then our pavers should sit uh, just above where the old pavers are here. So that we shouldn't have any issues with water flowing off the pavers and into the shed. So there's our somewhat level line, close enough to get started. 